Okay, you all have the formula book there, yeah? Yeah. Because we need to use it for this lesson today. with larger n. Uh, I'll just call it binomial 2. Right, so, guys, starting now. I said we're starting now. Ready? Take out your paper. Your notebook. Oh yeah, do you not have one? Right. Um this one guys? So, last time, the break about the need to start punctually. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. No, no, come here. You need this. Formula book. Right. Now, as I was saying, last time we were looking at Binomial. Guys, what was that? Come on, are you ready? The two of you, yes? Okay, so last time we were looking at binomial distribution and we were doing some um, calculations, but most of our calculations only needed to use the formula once or twice. So, for example, uh, let's say um, I roll a die ten times. And I ask you, what's the probability that, OMG, what's the probability I get a six, uh, let's say, four times? Okay. Well, you would have to use the formula uh, 10 C4. Uh, 1 over 6, 4, 5 over 6, uh, 6, here, yeah. That's fine, but now it gets quite a bit longer if I change the question only slightly. If I was to now say probability of getting a 6, 4 or more times. Now, what's different with the calculation now? To do it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. See how quickly you can do that. Go ahead. Get your brains warmed up and ready.
Got an answer down yet? What you got? Sure. Two, three, one. Zero Let's calculate. Anyone else got an answer? These num like just just think about it. I think the answer should be quite small. Because if I roll a die ten times, I don't I'm not really expecting to get a six four or more times. I think the answer should be quite small. That sounds more like it. 0 0.069, yeah. 10 C4 times 1 over 6 power 4, 4, plus 10, oh, what am I saying? Times 5 over 6, uh, 5 over 6, power 6. And you have to calculate this a few times. So you do it for 4, you write that answer down. So that's 0 0.05. Then you go up to 5. You see, it gets small so quickly. So I think by the next one, uh, if I go up to 6 now, and now it's, it's tiny now. So Looking just even at the first two, the answer should be around about 7%, 6 or 7%. 7 yeah, because if I go to 7 now and add that to my total, it's really decreasing rapidly. So I can, if you got more than 7% as your answer, you typed in something wrong. The answer should total, the total should be only about 6 or 7. What did you say it was? 6.97. 6 okay, so 7% then. 7% then, yeah. Okay. But of course you realise this takes uh, time to do. So perhaps there's a, a quicker way to do it. And there is using the formula book. And I'll explain how to do that now. I will, we'll do an easier example first. So suppose I have, um, let's say, P equals 0 point, we'll just say 1. And again, let's keep it so that we have 10 trials. Maybe this is something like the probability that someone will vote yes in a group of 10. And maybe my question is, what is the probability that I get, let's say, four or less yeses? Now, if you were to do that the long way, what would it be? The long way, you would have to do, uh, oh no, 10, C4, 0. 0.14, and 0. 0.96. And then the next one would be 10, C3, 0. 0.13, 0. 0.97, etc., etc., etc. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. It'll take a little bit of time. There's a, a quick way using the formula book. So I'll explain how to use the table. Let me just uh, find, I'll tell you which page to look at first. So if you look at page 10, it says the page number at the bottom. It says at the bottom, page 10 of 16. Yeah. Do you find it? Yeah. 
that any case, there's no any case sensitive. Yeah, it continues on the next page. I just want to get you to the start of the table. So, these tables are for calculating binomial probabilities when you want to calculate the probability uh, of being less than some x. So, like in this example here, I'm look well, less than or equal to, I should say. So, for this example here, I want to be less than or equal to four successes. So, if you look at the tables, do you see at the top you have p? 0 0.05, 0 0.1, etc., etc. These are different values of p you can choose. So for this problem, which value of p? 0 0.1. So we're looking in the second column. Now, if you look at the left, you see how big the group is. So the group is um, 5, 6, 7. If you turn it over on the next page, 9, 10. Yeah? And what's the x for this problem? 4. So if you go down to 0 0.1 probability, n is 10, and 4, what do you get here? 0 0.9984. So, yeah, these tables have already pre-calculated different problems for you. Also, oh, it's, it's uh, totaling. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a total. That's what the word uh, cumulative means. They've totaled it up, up to four. Sir, and what does x equal zero mean? Oh, that just means it'd be like zero or less successes, which in other words is just saying zero successes. <laughs> Why isn't this saying that almost every time there will be four or less successes? So the proportion yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, yeah. Practically all the time in this group, you'll get four or less people voting yes. That's not surprising. Because the chance of voting yes is only 10%. So like on average in a group of 10 people, only one of them is going to vote yes. So I mean it's very likely that you'll have four or less people voting yes. So this should be a big number. Just like with the dice example, I was expecting a small number. Now we'll practice another one. I'll give you one to practice and then we'll look at more difficult ones. Yeah? What about if you have more than zero? That is what we'll look at in a moment, but not quite yet. We'll do an easier one first. Yeah? So let me just give you an easy enough one to start with. Now, you notice that there's some disadvantages with this table. For example, you cannot choose the exact value of P, right? For example, uh, in the dice example, uh, we had a probability of 1 over 6. What's 1 over 6 as a decimal? 0 0.167. Do you have a probability of 0 0.167 in the table? No, what's the closest? 1 5. Yeah. So let me, uh, let, let's do a dice one again. But you'll have to estimate the P as 0 0.15 though. How big does the table go up to? What's our largest one? 25? No, 0.5. What page is that on? For 30 is the biggest, yeah? Okay, so let's have another one again. We roll a die. And we'll do this, um, we'll do it the maximum, 30 times. And my question is, what's the probability that you get a 1, let's say 10 or fewer times? Now wait, before you calculate it, it's good to have a rough estimate in your head. So if you roll a die 30 times, how many times would you expect to get a 1? Well, how, how often does a 1 come up? What's the chance of getting a 1? 1 in 6. So, yeah, if you roll a die 30 times, how many times do you expect to get a 1? About 5 or 6. It's something like this, 5 or 6, 5 times about. 
So do you think it's likely or unlikely that a one will appear ten or fewer times? Likely. In fact, uh, very likely, since you're only expecting to get five anyways. So the answer should be pretty big. See what it is. Use the table. Take a, take a few seconds. See if you can figure out what it is. Zero point one five is the closest to zero point one six seven, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, what value is it from the table? Nine nine seven one. Good. Very good. Okay. Now let me give you a slightly harder one to try. So that's our first example of using the table. Second one. What's the probability that you get a 1 5 or more times? Now you have to be very careful because you have to remember that this table is a less than. It's up to the 5. So you'll have to make a small change to be able to use the table but I don't I don't think it's too difficult I think you might be able to figure it out think about it you just subtract one before. yeah yeah <laughs> You have to flip it around some way. Right. Anybody got an answer? Mm, I don't think it's that, is it? I don't think it's... What? I don't think it's that either. What did you get? Zero point four seven. Yeah. Yeah. Because you look at four or less times and you subtract one. Yeah. No. No. Should exclude? Yes. You should. Yes. So look, guys. Okay, you seem a bit confused here. Everybody, look up. Watch carefully. So we can use our trick that we've used before. Probability of five or more is one minus the probability that you don't get five or more. So what's the meaning of not getting five or more? Four or less, yeah. Oh, sorry, you are right. I apologize. No, it's just, I'm not used to that. Uh, okay, so getting uh, a one, four or less. Yes? So uh, I think you were right. What was it? Yeah, well, what, what is it? One minus... Five two four five. Okay, five two four five, uh, and that's equal to about four seven five. Four seven zero point four seven. I'm gonna make it a percent. Five five. About about forty eight percent. About forty eight percent. Okay. Three now. So, let's see how many. In, in the exam, they'll probably give you a number that exactly matches. But for these problems, you have to use the tables um, 
because it would take too long otherwise. So, okay, another example now. Let's make this one a, a little bit harder. We'll change it a bit. So again, we'll go. We'll, we'll stick with the same table. Thirty people, and the probability that somebody votes yes. This is the probability of getting a yes vote. Uh, we'll say it's zero point six. So uh, I want to know the probability of ten or more yes votes. really have to think about how you can fix the 0 0.6 problem. Yeah. You add the 0 0.1 problem. Mm, no. Add 0 0.1? Yeah, because like add number. The, you go to no, 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 no. Yeah. Again, it's an opposite trick you need here. Okay, so, well, I'll calculate it now. Here's the problem. You obviously can see that there is no value in the table book for 0 0.6. What's the largest probability there? 0 0.5. 0 0.5. But this is not a problem. You just need to change this into, instead of looking for yeses, you're looking for noes. So just think really carefully. If I say 10 or more yeses, how can I change that into a statement about the nose? Is it 20 or is it 19? Yeah, so think, okay, so just think about it. 10 yeses is how many noes? 20. Okay. 11 yeses is how many noes? 19, yeah. So it looks like you can change this into uh, 20 or less knows. Yeah? It is 20, yeah. Because 10 yeses corresponds to 20 knows. Yeah? So, um, you have to be careful now because you've changed this into a new problem. The n is still 30. The x is now not 10, but what? 20. 20. And instead of looking for yeses as success, we're counting no's. So it's 0 0.4. So if we go to 0 0.4 and 20, what do we get? It's pretty big, is it? 0 0.9991. 0.9991. Okay. Okay. B. Same problem. This time I ask you the probability of 15 or fewer yeses.
Okay. So first things first, we should change this into a statement about the Noahs. So 15 or fewer is the same as saying 15 or more Noahs. But we can't look up or more. We have to then change this into 1 minus not 15 or more, which is 14 or less Noahs. Which is 1 minus, and we need the table here. N is 30, X is 14, and the P is 0.4. So, 30, uh, 0.4, 30. 8246. 8246, okay. Uh, so, what does this equal in the end? 0.1754. Now, believe it or not, that's actually the, really the hardest it could possibly be because you have to do two corrections here. You have to convert it from a yes to a no. And why did you have to do that? Because it doesn't go off. The, the probability was too big. And we had to convert it from a p to a 1 minus p. Why did we have to do that? Because you can't do more. Yeah, because we have to go from a more to a less. <coughs> and, and that's really it then. So, you know, these tables are very uh, convenient. Um, Do they go more than? Well, just in this formula book, they only go up to 30. They do go more than the other one? The one you get in the exam? No, this is the one you get in the exam. Mm. Oh, I mean, do we get more than any 30? No, 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 no. Uh, because uh, after 30, then there's another thing you can do that simplifies the problem. So when you have more than 30 trials, there's another... There's a formula you can use that, that, that gives you a good approximate answer. Why hmm? is It's just space. They can't do every possibility. You know? Okay, yeah? From 8 to 25 is 0.05. 8 to 25? Yeah, it's 1. Why is it? It's rounding up to one, that's all. I don't understand how you went from 15 or more no's to 14 or less no's. Because it's, I did one minus. It's a not. What's not 15 or more? 14 or less. It's a, it's a, the, you remember that trick where we do one minus not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so like I said, not as difficult as last time. The difficulty is trying to figure out which number on the table to use. Okay, so I'll just let you try these for a few minutes before we go on to the next lesson there. They're not so long to do, so you should really do them all.